Ming. I am a third year steam fitting apprentice. I mean, I was always hands on. Mom and dad laughed like they got me and my sister Barbies and they ended up in the tree. Like we throw them up, wait for them to come down, get stuck. And we'd be out in the garage with dad. He'd just like, oh, here's some wood, here's some nails. <laughs> just kind of, there you go. And just, yeah, like as I started getting in through high school too, I started a lot more hands on stuff. I started welding, I loved it. I honestly had no idea. With having an older sister, I kind of watched her go through high school and just kind of try and figure out what she wanted to do, what university she was gonna go to, like what on earth she was gonna do. But as I got through high school, I had no idea. Grade nine, 10, no idea. Then I took a focus program in grade 11, and that's what opened me up to welding. And I was like, this is what I wanna do. So then just with the people I met in that program and the teachers, of course, Mr. Chambers, he was such a big help to getting me where I am today. I was able to get in to the union and start my career off that way. So definitely Mr. Chambers, um, he taught an amazing course and I learned so much in that course just in the two years I was there. Um, I'll go back and visit. He got me the connections I needed to get into the union. I have met so many people out in the field, whether it was at in Napanee or at Darlington, who went through the same course. I'm like, oh, Mr. Chambers still teaching? It's like, yeah. I like, it's amazing how many people really that I've met who have taken the same path as me and have like, he's taken them under his wing and now they're just out there and we're all out here working. So I, I have a big thanks for him for getting me where I am. Well, I have cousins who are out west. They do welding and stuff. I never really talked to them much about it. But then as soon as we started coming here, actually, and doing welding as part of the program, I really started loving it. He's like, oh, well, you know, like he brought in Pat, who was the apprentice coordinator, and it kind of got me more of an understanding of like, wow, like I can really do this as a career kind of thing. For welding, nothing. Like I literally graduated from high school and applied to the union and got in. It did help a lot that I did have my program and got the practice kind of screwing around in the shop and stuff. Um, well, I mean, like when I showed up on my first day, I started in a small fab shop. I had no idea what a steam fitter did absolutely no idea I just knew that they worked more with the welders so I decided to go down that route and they basically when I finally got out in the shop and started working like okay like we were just doing small bore stuff so like one inch two inch pipe and they're like okay well here's the cut list and I'd worked with material before like I worked with the iron workers in a shop and so I knew like okay like I know how to measure my stuff like that and it was hilarious because they set up the saw and I had never used something like a setup like that before and I tried to move the pipe and I didn't never worked the pipe before so I tried to move it and it fell off the stands and like everything went flying and so uh, my journeyman Tom came up and he helped me and he's just like okay this is this is what we do and I was just like oh my goodness is this what I've got myself into What I love about what I do is like I took a co-op and so with the iron workers and I did a lot of work and so I get to drive around Kingston. It's like, oh, I made that. I helped that go up. I drive down Bath Road and it's like, I helped build that gas plant. There's power going to my house, cool. Like I'm working up at Darlington doing the refurb. It's like, I am building a facility to produce power from nuclear energy. And it's just like, I get to do that. Uh, what's next for me is I'll be heading back up to work for Friday night and I'll keep working on my apprenticeship. I go for school in March. Hopefully I'll get all my schooling done. I'll get my apprenticeship done. As I go through, like I'm going to try and get more welding tickets because I do want to have the option to either take a call as a welder or as a fitter and kind of move my career along that way. I have is don't be afraid to try it like the trades aren't for everyone it does take a certain kind of 
mindset to get into the trades, but if you just kind of, if you have that mindset to like, oh yeah, maybe you want to try that. Like, don't doubt it. Like you can always go back and try like education gained is not education lost. Like it's not time wasted. You're not going to lose time by trying something. It's just, just do it. Well, I mean, I started off so young and being like with the union, it is a huge benefit. I mean, I get great pay, I get my benefits, I get the hands-on skill that I need. I'm working with trained professionals who have been doing this for years, who look out for me. I have fun on like the daily basis of what I'm doing and who I'm working with, and I'm learning to do really amazing things.